Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I decided this is my six week follow up. Um, after my BBL with Dr. Doback, Christine Doback in Miami, Florida. You know, I'm gonna give you guys weekly updates. Um, this week, let's see. There has been a lot of changes. A lot of changes meaning as far as nerve pain, I still have nerve pain frequently. Um, I haven't fluffed yet. I actually started sitting yesterday. I was going to film it for you guys, but I decided I was so over the bruising um, and uh, dry skin and flaking and peeling from my elbows and my knees because that's how I've been sitting at work. But I'm telling you, I was so over the kneeling and on my knees my elbows it took a lot out of me mentally mentally it took a toll on me this week i've just been real in a real irritated space i don't know if it's mercury retrograde or what it is but um i'm just like right now at this stage i'm like i'm over it i'm ready to just have the body that i paid for <laughs> i don't want to put no more work into it and it is actual work but the reality of the situation is like i tell you guys um the post-op care is more than actual surgery surgery okay that's the easy part even though you go through the physical pain um give and take you there is more work at hand after post-op care opposed to just having the surgery so you have to be patient with yourself i have to have daily talk to myself i'm still not where i want to be goal wise um but i do see changes and that's what i want to talk about this week so it's this six, six week mark um, today is Saturday um, and um, I started sitting at my job yesterday now when I first sat I just want to let you guys know that it wasn't painful at all it was just very I want to say I was nervous in the beginning but I feel like your body's already kind of healed and um, sitting down will only you know it takes the fluff period um, now the fluff period should happen anywhere from three to six months now this is a whole ordeal. You still have to maintain your body, weight, eat good fats, low carb type of diet. You're not really like good fats. This is what I look at my six week mark. Um, and I also am going to try on an actual sweatpants suit. That's why I have the white black round because I have black. Um, so this is the top. You'll have seen this a thousand times. Yes, this is the same sports bar from Walmart, $12. Um, and these are the pants. I bought these pants from Walmart as well. This is my side profile. I still feel like my boobs are super huge. Um, and I wanted to kind of balance out wise um, before I had no butt. So I am thankful for the butt. I do know she gave me a lot of hips. Um, which I'm thankful for too because they helped me shape like that. Like I had hips already but she helped shape more hips going out as far as hourglass shape. And then more of some butt but I feel like right now where I'm at I'm happy I'm okay with it what I'm saying is I'm happy where I'm at as results right now I want to fluff um a little bit more because I am top heavy although I am considering about having I got told to you guys about it before about having um boob surgery or breast reduction I don't want my results to stay like this I would like to fluff some more you know more of a projection this is still swollen here. I am going to work on the stomach and wear my compressions like I'm supposed to. I haven't been wearing them like I'm supposed to. But I'm going to continue working on that. They said about three months for the stomach. So um, this is where I'm at right now. Side profile. This is the back. Still. My massage. Post up massages twice a week. I feel like this side can be a little bit more fat. I feel like it's not as equal. Um. But, you know, I'm still giving it time. Um, and I am definitely open to a uh, round two. I don't want to go necessarily go there yet. I want to see how I look after I heal. But I want more projection and more butt. But we'll see. Because you guys have been saying I'm thick. Like, I'm super thick. Um, the only thing is I don't know where you're going to get the fat from. Because I don't really want to take, like, out of my thighs or my arms. But... This is where I'm at. I am happy with the results thus far. Like I said, I want to fluff some more. Um, but before, I didn't have nothing here. Like, when I mean nothing, 
nothing. So I'm thankful for that. This feels like I have a cushion really on my butt, but it's actually me. Um, and I feel like it's starting to soften up. It is firm in certain areas, but I feel like it's softening up now um, in a sense, but it's still firm in certain areas. Um, so once you start sitting, the fat, I mean, it's supposed to already fat and fully absorb. I feel like the fat cells fully absorb um, and then hopefully it'll fluff. My had surgery on January 24th, so I'm not looking until probably like April, the end of April to be my really like my three months, January, February, March, well January, January to February is one month, February to March is the second month and March to April is the third month. So um, between my three month mark, I want to see what it looks like, um, but I do have some old items that I did want to try on because I've tried on jackets and thus far and I can completely see a difference in how things fit when I don't have no stomach no hanging no, nothing like when I'm leaning over no belly um I still want this to slim down a lot I felt like this is gonna take a little bit longer flanks is the last to heal everybody says that um in the lower part of my, I did have a lot of fat underneath here um so I do see a transformation like again this is the process part of the process part of the healing process everybody heals differently everybody absorbs product differently so my results might not be the same as yours or and vice versa um body weight body wise but i just went to someone who i felt like can give me the most ideal results close to that was in the united states at a decent price you know what i mean because everybody else is outrageous and gives you little to nothing and then i've wasted my money so um yeah, so as far as that's going to be concerned, I feel like the sleeping, I need to sleep with my compressions. I need to do more compression work here, um, stomach-wise. Um, and really, that's pretty much it. I don't have any faha on right now because when I try these clothes on, I don't want to wear faha so you actually could really see the results because I feel like the faha kind of forms you um, and shapes you. And then I have padding and that stuff so you won't get a realistic view. Okay, guys, so... You remember this? Look how different it looks with my body done. Like, you will see in the split screen. That's guys, so thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys so very much from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you guys for all the love, the support on my journey. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys so very much. Bye.